What does the adult ADHD brain map look like? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me explain it to you. Okay, so first let me walk you through the five main brain speeds that you will see on your QEEG brain map. So some of them vary, just so you know, but I'm going to explain this one to you and you can kind of extrapolate what others might look like from here. So what we see is we see the five primary brain speeds. Delta is extra slow brain speed, which gets your brain into sleep and keeps you in restorative sleep all night long for glorious eight hours of sleep. Tongue in cheek, right? Because most people these days are not able to do that. Theta, slow brain speed, shifts your brain into sleep. So theta, when it increases in the evening while you're chilling and you're watching TV or you're reading and you can feel yourself start to get drowsy, that's how theta is supposed to work. It creates drowsiness because it's slowing your brain down so that you can get into bed and get those eight glorious hours. Alpha, medium speed, I always call it couch mode because basically you want your brain to be able to get into alpha when you're sitting on the couch for a little while each day, letting your brain rest and recover. So it's medium speed, but it's designed to slow your brain down so that it can relax. Then we have beta, lower, lower frequencies of beta, called low beta, are perfect processing speed for calm focus. So it creates alertness, engagement, your brain can focus on what you're trying to do so you can be productive. You are in the zone when you're using lower beta. High beta is that stressy, anxious speed. It creates anxiety, it perpetuates feelings of stress and anxiety, it creates hypervigilance, the feeling of needing to be on red alert, it creates rumination, those thoughts that are spinning in your mind. So when you're using too much high beta, it is anxiety mode. We also see on this map a speed called gamma. Gamma is actually epiphany mode. And gamma has been shown to be able to kind of bump itself up when your brain is nice and calm and relaxed and focused. When you're in the zone, your brain is able to get into gamma so you can have your best thoughts. Okay, so let's look at this adult ADHD brain map. What we see here is that there is excessive amount, much too much use of theta, slow brain speed. And what that means is the brain is using too much breaking. I always call theta breaking of the brain. So the brain's using too much breaking. It's like it has its foot on the brake. And in this case, we see that the majority of the brain is red, which means that it's three standard deviations above where it should be for optimal functioning. And so basically what that means is that 99.9% .9 of the population is using a better brain pattern for theta than this here brain map. And what that means is the brain is running really, really slow or their, their brain has the foot pedal to the metal on the brake. When your foot is on the brake and your brain's using so much slowness, it is almost impossible to stay focused, to not get distracted, to be productive, to be in the zone, to be able to process information, to be able to use cognitive processing, to be able to use self-regulation skills like impulse control and good judgment. That is a brain that is seeking out stimulation to be able to stay awake enough to feel alert and engaged. And many times that's why people will have impulsive behaviors or hyperactive behaviors because they're offsetting the breaking by entertaining the mind through behaviors of the mind or the body, like hyperactivity. And that's how hyperactivity serves to offset this slow brain pattern in the brain. Many people are uh, misunderstand how the brain pattern for ADHD works, which is why I'm here, but they misunderstand and they think it's a brain that's running fast and that's why the person has hyperactive behaviors. It's not. It's a brain that's running slow and that's why if you go to a medical doctor and they prescribe medication for you, they'll give you a stimulant medication to speed your brain up for the time that it's in your system. Now, I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do that because neurofeedback brain training has been scientifically proven through lots of research studies to be able to reduce that theta production, bring all that red in the brain map 
down, down, down. And as your brain is producing less theta, it's no longer in sleepy mode. Now it will be in engaged and focused mode. I need to show you another thing on this brain map though, because you'll also see that the brain map is one of low beta production, especially in the central and central parietal areas towards the back right. You see that in beta on the brain map as dark blue across the back and the center areas of the brain, but especially back here. And that shows up as slower or lower cognitive processing. So not as much in slower processing of information, of emotions, of sensory processing. The brain is not only using too much braking, but it's not using enough gassing. Beta is basically gassing of the brain. So you need your foot on the gas at 45 miles per hour to be able to get around town. This brain map is one that is going at 15 miles per hour and has the brake all the way down, which means this person cannot get around town efficiently. Neurofeedback can train the theta down, train the beta up so that the brain works better, so you feel and perform better. That's what's in the adult ADHD brain map, and that's how you can fix it if you're interested. Okay, if you want to know more information about ADHD and how the brain creates it, and about how you can engage in personal neuro training program, you can visit my website at drtrishlee.com. There's lots of blog posts and information on my neuro coaching programs. And at my private practice, leebrainandspine.com, there's information on home brain mapping. Now you can have your brain map at home. And on home neurofeedback, it can be done at home too, uh, using state-of-the-art technology. Okay, I hope this information helps you out. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.